please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I'm sharing a little storytelling puzzle with you. Uh, this is the Jekyll puzzle. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but D-J-E-C-O company. I often find these at Indigo, Chapters. You may be able to find them in the States at Barnes & Noble. Again, from the front, you wouldn't know that it's a great storytelling puzzle. It looks just like three bears and a wolf puzzle. No big deal. I did review the other one that I was looking for for so long. I did find the Goldilocks and the Three Bears puzzle similar to this that I've been looking for for years. But again, I didn't want to pay regular price, so I waited until I found it thrifting. And this one is the Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf story. It's ages three and up, and it has 24 pieces, which is good for my preschoolers. They're not gonna last for anything bigger than longer than that. But why I love this puzzle is because it has a story built into it. So we kind of have the beginning where the three little pigs are kind of lounging about. Two are lounging and one is actually working. We've got the wolf kind of blowing down the houses. And then at the end, when he falls in the pot. So I like working with these type of puzzles because there's a lot of language embedded in each little piece. And I'll show the pieces next. Oh, and I found it for $2.99. So I like to work on part hole with these. I can see Piggy's arm for possessives and bricks, plurals. And then we can kind of see where the puzzle kind of is in space. Oh, I see a picture frame and flowers, so it can't go like that. That's upside down. We've got a birdie beside the brick wall. I wonder if these brick wall pieces go together. And yes, they do. It's a good activity for social communication groups too, because I get kids to pick out the, of the bag and pick up the different pieces and then kind of look over to see what their friend has and maybe they could say, oh, I think our pieces go together. And then we can look at the back of the box for reference too, so like, this looks like inside a house. So let's look. Where do you see anything inside the house? And is it on the left or on the right? It's the end of the story. The beginning of the story or the end of the story? And then you can kind of put it where you think it goes approximately. And it's got action words wherever there's a character. So we have a piggy who is sleeping. He's sleeping beside his straw house. And we know, because we've read the book already earlier in the session, that that piggy kind of took the easy way out and built a straw house that didn't take any time at all. And the piggy who builds the brick house is very smart to take extra time. So you can see the little pig is still building. So there's lots of action words. And because like there's, it takes three or four pieces to kind of construct the piggy who is building, you can see this one gives an opportunity for the verb and this one, so we get to say it twice. Oh, he is building. He is making a house out of bricks. So anyway, that's just a quick little puzzle. I don't need to do the puzzle for you, but I just wanted to show you how many goals you can incorporate. Oh, whose feet are those? Mm, I think they're the wolves. The wolves. And it's good for part whole. Whose face? I see two piggy faces and one wolf face in a hot pot. So I did get the whole puzzle. I made sure to count that when I was in the store. So that's a good little tip if you're ever finding those kind of puzzles. Again, I don't count the thousand, the thousand piece puzzles in the store, but for these quick little 24s, I will just make sure that it's all in there. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to use, incorporate some puzzles into your storytelling time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. You can comment down below to let us know how we're doing. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. That would be great. That helps our channel a lot. Watching the videos from beginning to end also helps our channel uh, watch time. We thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.